Right, so today I've got a few things I've got to do. I've got to go and pick up some medication. I've got to send a parcel. I've also got to pick up a blood test form. So I figured while I'm at it, I might go for a little bit of a wander. So I'm going to head off into town, have a look about. There's a good comic place nearby. There's a CEX, there's an HMV, and also an entertainer. So maybe we might find some collectibles too. So I'm going to nip into all them places and see what I find. So I'm uh, just on my way home. Uh, picked up a few bits, but it's a bit windy. So I'll show you when I get home. Right, okay guys, so I'm back. Um, ended up being out around about two hours, so not too bad. I managed to get everything done that I needed to do, which is nice because sometimes things don't go according to plan. Uh, managed to get my blood test form, picked up my blood thinners, also uh, managed to post off a parcel I needed to send. So I got all of that done and then it was just whatever I wanted to do while I was at it. So as I said, I decided to nip into town and uh, first place I went was CEX. And I've got to say it right now, I only picked up one game and it's not really a, a belter, but it is one I've been after for a while. And that is Excite Truck on the Wii. Now this is a game that I remember Retro Bear saying was a pretty good racer. And it is a cheap game, £1.50. And it's all in great condition as well. Like everything's good. Like it's not grubby looking, the manual's there, no corners rolled up. It's in very good condition. So, you know, I'd pay £1.50 all day for this. It's, it's a good bargain. That's a good price. So after that, I then decided to look at the Blu-rays and I found a few Blu-rays that I needed to replace that I've got on DVD. First one is Poltergeist. Now you might not believe this, but this film is actually quite hard to find on Blu-ray. Uh, I very, I don't, in fact, I don't ever remember seeing this in a shop. So in fact, it's even difficult to find online. So I had it on a DVD, which funny enough, I picked up from the Retro Realm um, when I went out there last year. Um, because again, I hadn't really seen it anywhere, but now I've seen it on Blu-ray, so now I've replaced that. And for four quid, I think that's pretty good considering it's a fairly hard film to find. So, a lot of, lot of Fs there, weren't there? <laughs> um, and then, of course, another one I needed to replace on Blu-ray was the Indiana Jones box set. Now, this is a different box set to what I've got. I've got it on DVD. And the box set I've got is only the three films, whereas this one has got all four and bonus features. But for £10, that's a bargain. I was picking that up all day. Because if you go to buy the new one that's out, you will pay 25 quid on uh, Amazon. And I don't think that's even got all of them in now. Obviously, I'm not bothered about the fifth film because quite frankly, I thought it was shit. So I don't want it anyway. The fourth one isn't good either, but it's better than the fifth one, I would argue. At least it feels like an Indiana Jones film. So yeah, um, that's my opinions. Others may vary, but that is my opinion. And so, yeah, £10 for that was a bargain I was getting at all day. And then the next one is one I picked up for Connor because I know he likes uh, the, these particular series of films. I also know he's a big fan of Sylvester Stallone. And so I picked him up The Expendables. And for 50 pence, it's the extended car. I think that's a bargain. You know, let's be honest, the first one was the good one. And for 50 pence, I was picking that up all day. So that's a little gift to, uh, for Connor. He doesn't know he's getting it yet, but he will do when he gets in from school. So yeah, Expendables. And then we move on to, or I moved on to the entertainer to see if there was any collectibles there. There were a few in there, but they were Star Wars and they're the new type of vintage that they do. They call them the vintage line. They're not. And they were awful figures, to be honest with you. The only one that kind of got my attention was a character called Kuil out of uh, The Mandalorian Season 1. Other than that, it was all pretty much um, the rubbish Disney Plus Star Wars series, you know, like Obi-Wan, etc. Uh, Andor. There was a character from Andor that I saw. This is, this is how bad their TV series are, right? There was a character from Andor, and I had to actually look at the cards to see what the character was from because I just didn't recognise her. <laughs> that tells you something, don't it? <laughs> so me, a massive Star Wars fan, and there's someone I don't recognise. I wonder why that is. Because it's from Garbage TV series done by Disney+. Plus. Anyway, moving on. So found nothing now. Then moved on to HMV, had a look around, if I'm honest. Everything in there was way overpriced. I had a look at the graphic novels, way too expensive. A lot of it's the new stuff that I'm not interested in. 
and uh, the t-shirts to be honest with you t-shirts are overpriced as well i mean i saw a nice jumper i liked with gremlins on 50 quid they wanted i'm not paying that for a jumper sorry i'm really not not when i can get it online better quality and it's probably about 20 quid cheaper so you know there's that uh, I then had a look at the Arrow um, Blu-rays, again, overpriced in there. I can get them cheaper online. So I then decided I was going to move on to the movie shack. But just before I did, the funny thing was, there was a bit of a conversation going on at the desk, and there was a young lad talking to an older fella. And the funny thing was, the conversation he was having was very much in line with what I've been saying. And that is our physical media is coming back around. A lot of people are realising that streaming platforms are not worth it because the things that they're buying or they're watching quite often get removed shortly afterwards so there isn't that watchability factor and he was saying physical media is never going to completely go away because people want things that they can watch put it back on the shelf and then a couple of years later when they want to watch it again pull it off and put it on again and these are all his words and he's a fairly young lad as well that was saying this and i couldn't help but walk past and smile and think do you know what? There's hope for the younger generation yet. Quite clearly, some of them get it, you know? So, yeah. And from there, I then walked off with a big smile on my face and walked into the movie shack, which is a couple of stores down. And the first thing that greeted me when I walked in the door was this. Five pound I paid for this. And this is obviously a movie poster. As you know, E.T. is the first film I ever watched at the cinema. So there's a special place in my heart for this film. And if I just push the test button, it's a little battery powered light. And I thought this would go nice, maybe in the background on top of my on air sign behind me, you know, and the good thing is it's battery operated. So I can just click it on and off whenever I want. Five pound, I thought that was a bargain. So it was worth picking up all day. So that wasn't the only thing I got from the movie shack though. No, no. So superior Spider-Man comic line that i missed out on because at the time i wasn't really into comics so much busy with the kids and if i'm honest most of the stuff i bought that was comics or graphic novel it was for them so i kind of come out of it for a while so i missed this particular run but what i do know is if you see this particular run or a graphic novel of it it's quite often fairly high priced so when you see a graphic novel of the superior spider-man and you're seeing it for five pounds it's worth picking up. So I grabbed it. First thing I saw when I got in there. Five pounds is an absolute steal for this. But as you know, I prefer my older lines. And so these ones are a little bit older. But fantastic prices for what they are. So the first one is number 12 of the Astonishing Spider-Man. It's the Collector's Edition. And this one I paid £7 for. Now this one has got the slightly harder cover i mean look at the original price there 199 crazy right so yeah pick that up seven pound i thought that was worth it fantastic artwork there as well really good so yeah grab that i don't know if i said the year the year on that is 1996 so you know a bit of an older one then we got another one from 96. This one's just Spider-Man. Four quid I paid for that. I don't know if you can see that there. And this one is number 72, September 96. So yeah, I'll re-bag and bald these because the ones he's coming there are a bit sort of shoddy like, you know. I like to put them in my own one. Now this one, this one's one I never come across in the past. But it had Spider-Man on the front, so I grabbed it, and that is New Warriors. Again, another old one. And this one I paid £5 for. And if you look in the corner, it says September 83. So this is an old one. And in very good condition. And this one feels like it might be another one of them ones with a slightly harder cover. Um, yeah, for a 1983 comic, that is in great condition so yeah so when i saw that i was like yep definitely having that i do like me some spider-man i've got to be honest some of my favorite spider-man is the todd mcfarlane run but um any of the old spider-man really spider-man's one of these characters if i'm honest that's timeless 
particularly the Peter Parker series. Um, some funny things going on at the moment where they're trying to sort of make people forget about Peter Parker. I'm going to be honest, that will never happen for me because that's the Spider-Man I grew up with. I did not grow up with Miles Morales. So for me, it'll always be Peter Parker. And I, if I'm honest, my favourite run is probably Todd McFarlane. But I do like some of the others as well. If it's old, I'll buy it if it's Spider-Man, you know. This new stuff, not so much. I don't like any of the new stuff that's out. It's all full of this, you know, woke garbage. So I will always stick with the old ones. Anyway, that's what I picked up. And that's the end of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, do me a favour. Give us a like. Maybe drop a comment in below. Let me know anything you picked up recently. And also subscribe. It always just helps get the channel out there. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Nerdy geezer out.